Hey everybody, Bill and Deb with I Ride Tiny House Adventures. Hi there. Yeah, it's an absolutely beautiful day today. It's gorgeous out. It's, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna show them a peek right quick. Alrighty. Okay? <laughs> yeah, just look at how pretty it is here today. And we're at Itchituckney Family Canoe and Cabins, which is where the Tiny House Adventures Rendezvous is going to be held uh, on February 21st, which is just a little over a month away. Is that right, Deb? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Today's the 19th of January, but it's just absolutely a gorgeous day today. Probably temperature around 70 degrees or so. Uh, beautiful blue skies. Can't ask for anything better than that. No, nope. Right? nope. Yeah. We'll no, take it. Hardly no wind. I think it's 19 tomorrow in northwest Arkansas. In northwest Arkansas. Throw that in there right quick. Nah. It's going to be around 19 mm. degrees tomorrow in, for a high in northwest arkansas yeah i'm sorry guys yeah. it's gonna be 72 here yeah yeah we'll take it we'll take it anyway we have been working some more on our table here and deb has been uh, painting on it we finally got the tabletop put on yesterday and i don't know it's it's made in such a way so that we can lift it up and down right yes yeah fold it up and down yeah when it's folded down, we have all this space and we can bring the wicker love seat back in. Yep. And of course, when it's up, it's our workstation, it's our desk, our, your practice station, our food bar. Um, it's going to have several different uses. Right. And we did we did frame out a wall, which we showed in the free, previous video. We actually studded out a wall here to cover the plumbing and everything that's there. But this panel that is covering that down there it is uh, screwed onto the wall, so it's real easy to remove. Now, the way we're supporting this table, right now we just have one prop rod underneath because Deb's been working on painting uh, the prop rods and painting everything else. And even just the one by itself holds it really nice and sturdy. But we'll have two prop rods all together. And I know what you're, you're thinking. I know what you're getting ready to say, some of you. Wait a minute, there's all kinds of shelf brackets on Amazon. And there are. Yeah, uh, you know, <laughs> tabletop shelf brackets where you can lift the tables up and down. But when I went in and looked at all these different shelf brackets, what I saw when I read the reviews was there was an awful lot of complaints about the fact that it wouldn't hold the table perfectly perpendicular with the wall. That was the biggest issue right there, right? Yes. Yeah. and. Some said that it was loose. Some showed videos where you could wobble it and stuff. And, you know, I don't know if it was the way they were installed by whoever purchased them or whatever, but I just didn't want to have to deal with that right now. And I'm pretty anal when it comes to certain things. I want Honey things bee. to look right. Yeah. <laughs> A bee. Honey bee. Go away, bee. Us. Go away, bee. <laughs> anyway, um, so that's why I, I'm doing the prop rods in, instead. Now we may, you know, come up with something later, a better way to prop this up and down. But here again, as Deb mentioned, I think already, 95% of the time, it's, it's going to be up in the table in position. position. Right. Yes, because most of the time our love seat will be out in either the gazelle or just simply outside for right. people to sit in. So it's only once in a while we will lower this, bring that in and sit here and visit with people. So. You know, um, we wanted a versatile space, and I think we've got it. Yeah, it should work out just fine. Show them how, when you take the prop rod out, how it, how it folds down and how much room is, is there when you do that. And there you go. Now, when we were experimenting with the, um, the love seat, the wicker love seat that we put in here, we would purposely set it out from the wall about the distance that this table is is in the folded down position just to see how it was going to fit you know uh, out front here and it worked out just fine so that's the whole plan but like we say 95 percent of the time the uh, the table will be in the upright position that's right, right. that's yeah. correct and then so. of course we'll have above that once we build the wall around all of that to make that pretty right we'll have some shelves and things on this side of it our next project after we finish this i guess we should back up and tell them what you're planning to do with that oh uh, well yes this needs one more coat of white uh -huh. the top part um, and then i'm going to foam marble it just like i did this and put on a couple of coats of polyacrylic for protection 
and then it will look similar to these. Similar. Similar. Well, well <laughs> the I full marble it, look. It'll look that way, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> that way, sort of. <laughs> anyway, we did a video here a while back when we, well, it's been a few months back, actually, when we were still in northwest Arkansas. Yeah. Of how you did this um, marble finish yes. on top, this full marble yes. finish and everything, and then you covered it with polyacrylic. Yes. How many coats of polyacrylic did you put this on it? This one has three. Three? Okay. And it's been holding up really nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Now, Deb is real careful when she's pouring stuff, but when I'm pouring stuff, I get a little sloppy now and then, and we haven't had any issues with Surely uh, not. I am a man. <laughs> Right. Right. I mean, that's <laughs> right, ladies. That, right, ladies. You, you all know what I mean. I've just accepted the fact that this is my lot in life. I am a man, which means I'm sloppy when it comes to pouring liquids in glasses and among other things. Right. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to? You don't want to get into that now. No, do I don't you? really want to get into that now. Anyway. So, so yeah, the next step now, after, since we've got this all done here, the next step is to go ahead and move on. Well, after you get the full finish done and everything, yes. and we're also going to put finish putting skin around that. We happen to have enough skin left to go ahead and do that. So then after we get that all painted and all this part done, then we're going to start building around this to cover this. And this will be framed out, uh, you know, right about right in here. And then, of course, we're going to frame it out over here on this side. And then it will have a panel that covers all the wiring and everything. The only part of this that you will see is the actual face of the panel itself. And Deb has a few plans for that, right? Yes, I'm going to do something. It won't be ugly panel. <laughs> I guarantee you. Underneath yeah. the panel, however, we will have an electric receptacle. That's correct. And a USB plug. Right. Because one never knows when you're sitting there at the table desk slash workstation yeah. where you may need to plug something in. Yeah, I've got enough room here. I, well, I just happen to have one, one, more, at, one more spot that I can put a breaker right there. So, uh, and that'll be real simple just to, you know, tie into that one right there and run down and catch a, uh, a 120 volt receptacle and put it right here. And like Deb mentioned, we also have a, another USB charging port that we can mount in this panel here once we get this where it's built out where it comes on down like this on either side so that'll be nice and of course we've already got usb charging point points on either side of the bed and we each have our own receptacle on either side of the bed so we're not uh we're not hurting for power receptacles in no. the house right nope Nope, we are not. <laughs> Which is a good thing. Which is a good thing. Which is a good thing. thing. And then the next thing that we're going to be uh, discussing <clears throat> is this will be left the depth that it is right here. And so we're going to be putting shelves across in this area right here. And the part that we're discussing is the depth of the shelves. I'm wanting to limit the depth to the depth of this ledger right here that is permanently mounted right here. Uh, Deb has some other ideas. Well, we'll just see. I don't really remember what that depth is. I think it's five inches. Uh, I believe you're correct. So that right. might be wide enough. I'm not sure yet. Okay. So we'll be discussing. I have to pull out what I might want to put there and measure it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and if so. it's in with, you know, I needed a half inch bigger than, you know, then we may have to duke it out. <laughs> um, I would like to say, though. Yes time to change the subject all right i like your shirt you're wearing thank you yeah where'd you get that at i got this for my ride tinyhouseadventure.com yeah <laughs> in other words our website is now officially up and running and our merch store is officially up and running yes it is yeah yes it is we've got and it's available the shirts are available in several different sizes several different colors uh you can get it like this without the rendezvous or you can get one that says rendezvous 2022 on it okay and um hats and totes and wine glasses and coffee cups they're uh, uh, stainless wine glasses they're not right we were hoping we could get a clear i haven't found acrylic one, but yet but we haven't been able to find anything patience. like that yet <laughs> <laughs> so we do have stainless wine glasses available. Uh, I think a stainless uh, tumbler. Yeah, I believe so. Yes. Yeah. And, and hats. Yeah. 
in two different types of hats. One right. they call the mesh trucker's hat and the other is a flex fit hat. Right, flex fit, a fitted style flex fit hat, which is more for guys like me that have, you know, uh, large noggins, right. right? And we decided not to inventory product because two reasons. Number one, we didn't have the finances to invest in merchandise. Number two, we don't have the room to store said merchandise. Mm -hmm. So we decided to go through a, uh, what I believe they call a third party. Yeah, yeah, where they actually, uh, they go ahead and print everything up and send it out, handle all the shipping and handling from there, you know, once you place the order. And then they, at the end of the month, they pay us a small commission, right. very small. It'd be yeah. the yeah. commission yeah. and um, we're just, um, basically we're doing this because we've had a lot of you request and we thought, why not? We need to have hats and shirts too. <laughs> and when you go in and look at the pricing, we kind of peeked at it the other day and I can't remember what the pricing is and I'm not gonna quote it right now because I can't remember everything, but I know that we did compare it to other YouTube channels that offer merch and pricing and shipping and things like that were all very similar. Right. So, uh, but here again, like I say, it's not like we're cleaning up on this uh, by any means whatsoever. No. But please um, uh, visit our website yeah. at iridetinyhouseadventures.com. There's uh, a little blurb there about us and our mission in life. A little blurb that Delilah wrote, and you won't, don't want to miss that. And then, of course, the store. And um, we'll put links in the video or the right. description or comments. Okay. or. <laughs> Here's the way we'll do it. We'll put a link to the uh, iridetinyhouseadventures.com website. And we'll also put a link to the merch store where you can go straight to the merch store if that's what you want to do. Either way, you can still get to the merch store. But we'll post a link in the description of the video. And then we'll also post links to those two uh, spots uh, in a pinned comment, which will be the very first comment that shows up on the comment thread. Right. Okay? Yes. Yeah. And that's about all I have to say uh, about that for now. That's it. Yes. We will be... Uh, posting more videos, a little more regular. We're, we're getting closer and closer to the uh, Tiny House Adventures Rendezvous, which is to be held February 21st through the 27th, 28th, right in there, however long people want to stay. We are planning a few um, events. Events. Well, not really events, but no. certain, certain things. Uh, there'll be an uh, itinerary you know, certain things that we'll do on a daily basis, you know, like we'll have an open house day one day. Uh, we'll have a storytelling day one day. Night. Uh, uh, one night, yeah. <laughs> uh, we're also going to, uh, I'm gonna do a little uh, hour, hour and a half little concert of some of my favorite songs on another evening. And uh, then we're also gonna have some kind of a drawing at the same time. That's right. So, and we will be laying those out as we get, get closer and to let everybody know uh, what's going on. And we're gonna hope that we have wonderful weather here that week because there's so many things to do during the day here, folks. So many neat day trips you can take to different places because of our location here. Uh, you're just, you're not that far, like an hour and a half, less than two hours to St. Augustine. Uh, Cedar Key is an uh, hour and a half. Um, What's that one that we were looking uh, at? Crystal, Crystal River, River Re Preserve. Preserve. <laughs> Crystal River Preserve is an hour and a half away. Uh, Manatee Spring State Park, hour and a half away. There's so, so many things that are close. Lots of things to close, look at and do and visit. Yes, lots of things to do. Kayaking, bicycling, um, you name it. There's so much stuff here to do and so many things to see. And uh, right now, it's beautiful here. Yes. Yeah. And it should be prettier as you know, we right. get more into Florida spring. <laughs> so we'll be we'll be posting updates on that, letting you know about the itinerary, how we're going to have each little uh, event in the schedule. I really want to come up with a different word other than the event each day, but we're going to be doing something a little different each day, and we'll get more in depth of talking about that as we get it all nailed down. Yes, it's the only way I know to say it right now. That's all we can do. We have a lot of planning, Deb and I, and fortunately, Mary. Is Mary's here too. and she's going to help me. She's going to help us. So uh, we're just really glad that Mary's here so she can help us. So yes. anyway, we're looking forward to it. We're looking forward to those that can come being here, especially some of those that are up around Chicago way right now, Indiana way, and they're freezing their, uh, 
they're cold. Yes, <laughs> to say there. the least. Yeah. I just hope they don't hit bad weather on the way down, you know. All right, we're going to let you go, folks. This is Bill and Deb with I Ride Tiny House Adventures. And you know what we always say? We're not camping. We're living. You all get out there and do some living yourself, and we will see you again soon. Bye-bye now.